and welcome to another video in configuration of the this UB anti antenna this was installed uh, in my equipment but it has reset uh, you can see that the power light and the uh, power light and connectivity is showing with the network is okay but not connected to wireless network so what the problem is that uh, due to the rain or some wire short circuit uh, it has reset to its default setting factory setting so now uh, what we have to do i have is configuration file in my backup so i will upload this uh, configuration file to this antenna again and will install the it to the equipment so what is the connection how the connection is done it has its poe uh, it has two port lan port uh, poe and lan the poe port is connected to uh, the antenna and the lan connector port is connected to the my laptop here okay so let's move to my laptop and i will show you how can you upload its configuration to this antenna and what is the default ip of this ub nt okay now uh, first we'll check the what is the default ip for this kind of antenna you have to search in the google uh, default ip addresses of ub nt access point or whatsoever click enter uh, you see the the default IP showing is 192.168.1.20 is the default IP of the UB NT antenna which I showed you. So what I will do, I will first check its default IP address, its connection with my laptop. For this, I will go to my uh, network connection and go to properties, internet protocol, uh, TCP IP version 4, take properties. Uh, now here I have configured my IP address in the same network, uh, same type of network, just uh, changing the last uh, last address different with respect to the default IP of the antenna because it is 20 192.168.1.20. So I made IP address 192.168.1.25 and this is the default subnet mask. But okay. So when I go to my DOS prompt. And from here I think 192.168.1.20 20 is actually the default IP of my UBNT so I want to check either it is on my connected with my laptop properly or not just click enter you see I can get the information from the antenna it means that it is connected to my laptop now what I will do I will upload the configuration file uh, to this antenna for that I have to search my configuration file okay now I have uh, found uh, this is a folder uh, where I put all the uh, access point setting so I will upload this setting into my antenna this is only one I have to upload this is for the different antennas so I will upload uh, one uh, this one RTG09 so what I am going to do I have to first uh, log in in the default browser uh, with the IP, default IP address let's say 192.168.1.20 I am just logging to the um, <coughs> uh, access point setting so default username is UBNT and the password is again UBNT just click enter so now I have entered in the default setting of the UBNT access point so uh, uh, there is two way to configure the antenna either you don't have the backup so that you have to manually set to do the all the settings of your antenna uh, what kind of wireless mode you want and network setting power ip address everything you have to set the manually but this is time consuming and not a good way so for that uh, when the system was working the antenna was working i had these i just save the backup now what i will do i will just upload that backup file into the uh, this configuration for that uh, what i have to do i will go to uh, network not in network is not services system 
Yeah. In the system, you have a device manage, maintenance and configuration man, uh, management. Uh, let's say if you want to take the backup, you can click the download. The backup file will be downloaded to your PC or laptop. Uh, but what I want to do, I want to do the upload the configuration file. I have the configuration file and I upload to this one. Okay. So for this, I will just select the choose file and I will find out the where is my setting. This is a setting which I want to upload. Okay. I will just select it and click OK. Open. Then upload. Then apply. After applying, uh, all the setting will be updated according to the configuration file. And one thing I want to tell that the configuration file have a different IP address because it was installed on the field, so it was it is IP as setting was a different according to the field uh, other network devices. So in order to you see yeah, now it's not <coughs> uh, getting the information because it has uploaded and the my laptop IP is different type of uh, class and the IP address of uh, what I have uploaded it was a different so in order to access again check let's say if I ping again here 20 default IP address it will show that it is not in the network because I have uploaded the configuration file and the configuration file had a different IP address so I will have to change this accordingly so for this I will again go to my internet setting TCP IP properties and I will change the IP address 13.0.0.250 because the IP address of the configuration file was 13.0.0119 so I just change the last one last address and then ok ok now, now I will ping the uh, new IP address you see, now this is we getting. Now the antenna has been configured with updated configuration file, and the IP address of this antenna is now 13.0.0.119. Okay. Now it will it is ready to install on this system. I hope you like the video. If you have any confusion, you can ask to me uh, in the comments box. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like this video subscribe this channel and don't forget to share my videos till next video take very good take very good care of yourself allah